fan out across Hampton Roads today found plenty of issues caused by the extremely high winds. Debris, trees and power lines were knocked down. Robert Boyd is live in Norfolk where it is still windy out there. It sure is Regina and David real windy out here. I'm right next to Ocean View Avenue right by the Chesapeake Bay and this wind uh, just keeps getting stronger and stronger. And it's actually coming off the bay and really when I walk it's sort of pushing me along. That's how strong it is. It's a swirling wind though. It's kind of going in every direction as we take a peek up here at the trees. As you could say, I'm uh, moving back and forth again. Very strong winds. Uh, you just see everything moving stop signs, trees, uh, utility wires, everything moving back and forth. And we spoke to a lot of residents today about the wind and they said it really felt like a hurricane and then when we saw some of the damages to the homes it also looked like a hurricane back and forth 40 foot trees swayed in the air in Newport News Friday as homeowners looked on but this is kind of crazy for non hurricane uh, season Fred Higgs says he was afraid to go outside branches were falling everywhere I was, uh, waking up all night and, and here it sounded like bodies hitting the roof Fred's neighbors had to evacuate their home after a tree was pushed over by Mother Nature, uprooted from the ground, crashing onto the house, leaving a hole in the roof. I'm not walking around in the backyard for sure. It's kind of, it's probably foolish. Yvette Hague said they cut down a dead tree a few months ago in an effort to avoid this exact scenario, but she's still worried. It is nature at its finest, its <laughs> strongest, I think, you know. In Franklin, the wind was so ferocious, it wiped the facade off the old Mackin's office supply building, pouring debris onto Main Street. While in Virginia Beach, wind gusts were so powerful, it sliced this chimney in half. There's still stuff flying off the siding. It's all just ripping off. The top half went tumbling onto the house next door. This is my sister's home. She's in Italy, so I'm pretty sure she's devastated. While utility lines didn't stand a chance, some of the repairs had to be left for another day. You could say the howl was loud enough to even wake the dead. The Cedar Hill Cemetery sign was knocked to the ground. Flowers blown off tombstones. The cemetery says there is so much damage, they'll be closed until Wednesday. Now, fire departments are also urging people tonight to be careful what you leave out on your porches and decks and patios, because as you can see from this wind, it can and it will blow away, specifically ashtrays. And here's the problem. You leave a cigarette butt in an ashtray, it blows off the porch, and there's that bit, butt is still lit. It still has a fire to it. Well, you can start a huge fire in your backyard. So please be careful. Uh, anything that could blow away, please bring inside tonight. Live in Norfolk, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.